What if Goku got Mystic Power instead of Gohan? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part A? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everyone, it's me, Goku. Welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where Goku G23 does his by daily what ifs on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. Previously on What If Goku Got Mystic Power Instead of Gohan, we mentioned that Goku has now gone and transformed into his Mystic Blue as he went and he began to beat the shit out of Black. Black tried to do everything he can to overpower Goku but Goku was easily stronger than him as he continued to attack him and just when everyone thought that they were finally in the road to win it, Black was only toying with Goku as he went and he used more energy and with that he began to beat the shit out of Mystic Blue Goku. Despite the fact that Goku transformed into Mystic Blue, Black was still stronger. Black then went and he threw Goku down as he was about to kill him but Broly came and he transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan God as he charged right towards Black and both their power clashed at one another and they were going at it. Gohan also used his beast form but Black easily managed to beat the shit out of that and Broly and Black going at it, Broly did some damage but Black managed to go and cut him down as Broly was out from the battle. With that, Gohan and Goku decided to go and use 100% of their power and do a team duo of Father, Son vs Black. As their duo came to a success but Black managed to go and find an opening and with that he went and he cut Gohan down. As he slayed Gohan right in front of Goku and with that, he killed him. Black then disappeared as Goku was in despair but he decided to go and use the Dragon Balls to wish Gohan back but the Dragon Balls has been destroyed. What if? Goku got mystic power instead of Gohan, part 8. Goku and everyone has now got the news that all the Dragon Balls in Universe 7 has been destroyed. They had no idea who did it but all they knew was that everyone was in shock. Shenron was gone and Parunga was gone. And what makes it worse, Goku was still shocked and traumatized because his son has died right before him. Black went and slayed Gohan as it hit everyone right in the chest seeing that Gohan has died. Goku then returned right back to earth as he was all upset and sad and from there everyone came and they gathered up at Boma's place to make plan on what they can do to bring back Gohan and what can they do to defeat Black. Goku was too depressed to do anything since he did lose his son right before him and from there Weez and Beerus has arrived as Weez looks towards Goku and said, Goku. Don't be so sad, there's still some ways to bring him back. What? And what way is that? Well, we can always use the Super Dragon Ball. The Super Dragon Ball? Goku began to have a little hope. Whis then looked in his staff and told him. Also Goku, there's this one planet not too far from here and they also got a set of Dragon Balls. I believe all they need is just two Dragon Balls and from there you can make your wish. Wait what? Really? All oh, right, I did hear a myth about that. Their dragon, its name is Tarambo. Tarambo, huh? Well, I guess we got some few options, guys. While well, everyone's happy and they could bring Gohan back. Far in the galaxy. On a planet called Planet Cerulean. This planet had a very low population due to the fact that it has been slaughtered, but the Dragon Ball remains in this planet as one of the warrior has now arrived to where's that planet. <laughs> well then, I could see they're trying to bring you back, huh Gohan? <laughs> now that I killed you, I could see how desperate they are. It is time we fulfill the next mission. We're going to destroy the Dragon Balls here. That way they can never bring back anyone. They will know true despair. <laughs> what the hell? Who are you? And why are you in my planet? Oh, so it looks like I came in the right place, huh? 
I get to destroy the Dragon Balls and kill some person. <laughs> Bring it on then. What the hell, Dragon Ball? You mean Tarambo? He's gonna try to kill him? Well then, are you ready to die? Before Granola could do anything, Black has instantly came right in front of him as he used his scythe and he managed to cut him down, getting Granola to die right there. Now where can I find that Dragon Ball? It is right here! Ah, Vegeta! I see you helped me find where it is. Very good. Let's go and destroy it. I want to be the one to destroy it myself. Let me do it. With that, Vegeta went and he killed the guardian of the Namekian who was guarding the Dragon Balls and from there, he destroyed the dragon, getting to be seized forever. <laughs> now that we have done this, let's move on to the second plan, the Super Dragon Ball. <laughs> You have a lot of ideas, don't you? Well then, let's go do it then. Well, we also have another trump card. You are one of them, but let's go do our mission. As they have now left. With that, Supreme Kai went and he took Goku and they Kai Kai towards planet Cerulean along with Whis. Once when they got there, they saw a dead body as that dead body belonged to Granola and from there Goku was surprised to see that as they saw a dead Namekian. Oh no! Oh, I'm afraid we're too late. It would appear that they haven't managed to beat us here and kill him. Hmm. Why is he doing this? Well, Goku, I guess the only option you got now is the Super Dragon Ball. But I was thinking, I don't think if that's available right now, Supreme Kai. We used the Super Dragon Balls recently to wish back Planet Vegeta. That is true, but the Super Dragon Balls is completely different compared to the others. Once when you make a wish, after a few days, the dragon is available to be used again. Oh wow, I guess they don't call him Super Dragon for nothing. <laughs> Alright, then let's go search for it. As they went and they began to try to see where the Super Dragon Ball are, but they saw it was nowhere to be found. With that, Whis got a message from his staff as it was Dai Shinken. He has summoned Whis and told him to bring Goku with him. Goku then got invited to go to see Lord Zeno as Beerus got very nervous hearing that but from there they had to see what's going on as Supreme Kai assist them in their journey and he Kai Kai them to Zeno's world. On Zeno's planet, Zeno then came and he saw Goku as he was amazed to see just how childlike Goku is and from there he asked Goku if he can be his friend. Goku didn't know what to say but he said okay since Zeno told him that they have been keeping an eye on Goku ever since he has beat Beerus and they pretty much see him as a very interesting mortal. Dai Shinken then looked towards Goku and said, I'm apologize but I can see you're trying to look for the Super Dragon Balls. You won't be able to have them right now. We are using the Super Dragon Balls for ourselves. Oh, okay. And if you don't want me asking, what are you guys using it for? <laughs> well, our Omni King here wants to see a tournament with all the universe fighting. Or you could say the universe that are exempt will not be fighting, but the universe that are in this tournament, they'll have to fight one another. It is something like a battle royale, and that the winner gets to have the Super Dragon Balls and wish for anything they like. Wait, what? A tournament? Oh, right now my, my hands full, I cannot do this. Excuse me? Huh? Well, I'm sorry, I did not mention the fact that the loser of the tournament will be erased along with their universe. What? Wait, what? Yes. Lord Zeno feels like there's too many universes inside this multiverse. It's the reason why he is going to do that. So far, you guys get ready. The Tournament of Power will be beginning very soon. With that, Goku was even more shocked. He already has a burden of trying to go and rescue Gohan and finish Black off. And on top of that, he has to go and fight on the tournament. And if they don't fight, <laughs> What's the point of resurrecting Gohan or Black if you're going to be erased? They have no option but to fight. As Goku returned right back to planet Earth and with that he told everybody the news about the tournament of power and the bad news that the loser will be erased. Upon hearing that got everybody very shocked as they didn't know what to do but they wanted to do everything they can to make sure they win the tournament of power so they can survive 
What's the point of wasting your time trying to train to be black if you're going to be erased by not finishing the Tournament of Power? Goku was responsible to go and get the fighters for the Tournament of Power to begin. As he managed to go and get 10 fighters and now the time has come for the Tournament of Power to begin. And before the Tournament of Power has started, everyone did a lot of training as Goku went and he continued to train with Whis and Miris trying to uphold his mystic power to the next level. But now it's time for the tournament to begin. The fighters for Universe 7 are Krillin, Piccolo, Android 17, Android 18, Tien, Master Roshi, Bardock, Vegeta, Broly, and Goku. As the tournament of power has now commenced. Once when everyone has arrived to the tournament of power, they all then saw the amazing fighters that were there as Dai Shinkin came and he told everybody the rules about the Tournament of Power and from there the tournament has now begun. Universe 7 decided to do whatever it takes to win this tournament so they can use the Super Dragon Balls and Goku's wish was to take the Super Dragon Balls right after the Tournament of Power is done and wish for Gohan to be alive again. And because of that he has a very high motivation to win this and therefore Goku decided to go and use his Mystic 3 form as he didn't want to toy around at all and with that he began to body anyone that came in his way. Goku then transformed into his mystic god since a lot of people tried to attack him but he managed to hold his own. Vegeta went and he used his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and he began to attack most of the fighters that came in his way as everyone tried to do everything he can to eliminate Universe 7 but Universe 7 proved to be a powerhouse. Broly went and he transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan. As he began to go and beat the shit out of most of the fighters that came in his way. Everyone was doing very well on Universe 17 as they began to be slowly eliminated by other universes but from there the only ones left standing was Goku, Bardock, Vegeta, Broly as they all decide to go and do whatever it takes to win this tournament. Before they can do anything everyone sends a very high power as Goku turned around and saw it was no one other than Jiren. Whoa, this guy's power is amazing. But I don't have time to waste on him. I should end this right now. <laughs> you can try if you want. But the result will still be the same. As Goku and Jiren stared at one another. With that Goku went and he uses Mystic Blue as he rushed right towards Jiren and he uppercut him but saw Jiren manage to catch his fist and twist it as he strike Goku down. With that Topo and everyone else went and they powered up a blast and they aimed it right towards Goku. As Jiren did not like the fact that they interfered but at the same time it was an easy win for them. Goku managed to go and block the attack as he made a loud explosion and from there, once when the smoke cleared, everybody saw Goku was glowing. Alright then, how about I go use my full power too? Goku has now tapped in to a power which no one has seen before. Find out what happens in the next episode as we have Jiren and his universe 11 attacking Goku while Goku has now gone and used this amazing power. Will he manage to go and get his hands on Super Dragon Balls or will something pop up? All this will be answered in the next episode. If, if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it. And please subscribe to my boy Vegeta T23, helping get up to 10,000 subscribers. And please drop a like for this video. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell, that way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me click the bell, it's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.